Hello, and welcome to Convince Catholicism, a place for all things Catholic. Today, I have a recommended book. This came recommended from uh, Andy Wynn, a Australian YouTuber. He also reviews Catholic prayer books and so on. This is the Scepter Daily Bible. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you, uh, and I already told Andy this, but Right off the bat, I'm going to say I'm a little bit disappointed in this book. This is going to be possibly the first review that I do that is more negative than positive. Um, but I'll get to the reason why in a moment. So this is going to be a review of this edition rather than this translation, which is RSV Catholic Edition, which you probably, if you've seen the channel before, you already know I like that translation a lot. <clears throat> so... Five and a half inches wide, seven and a half inches tall, and one and a one and a half one and one and a half inches thick. Okay. Now, when I saw the internet description of this, this said travel Bible. It said daily Bible. I thought portability. I thought to myself, I could take this anywhere. I thought it would be durable, so on and so forth. And I will say it is durable. You know, this thing is not going to um, get screwed up. In fact, I accidentally placed it down like like this, and uh, it's it's pretty much okay. There's that little crease there, but it, it was folded for a few hours by accident, and that was my fault, and I'm not I'm not proud to say I accidentally did that, but accidents happen, right? So, <clears throat> and I saved the sleeve that this came in. We can see what it says here. Uh, the Scepter Daily Bible offers a compact, compact, revised standard version Catholic edition for your daily use with full color maps. Convenient, easy to read pages. We'll get to that. This Bible is designed to withstand heavy use and everyday wear and tear. Convenient uh, size, lay flat design. We're going to test that. Ribbon marker, that's a good ribbon. Full color maps. The maps, I will say, are excellent. We'll get to that in a moment. <clears throat> Dedication page, fine. Double column format, fine. Guilt edging option. Uh, I went without it. I did not see on the website where you could get it, but if it's available, I'm sure that you can find it. So, compact. I just gave you the dimensions for it, okay? Now, when I thought compact and I thought flexible cover, I immediately thought this is going to be a step up from the RSV CE Oxford Compact, which you can see is considerably smaller than the than this version here. Uh, there's about a half inch or maybe a centimeter of space there, much thinner. Now, I will say, and I've done a review on this, so if you want, check that out. <clears throat> the font here is smaller, but the bleed through is essentially negligible. Those are distinct words, as small as they are. When you open this up, these words are large, but that bleed through is awful. And we'll see how flat this lays. I haven't tested that out, but... We can see here in Exodus that it more or less lays flat. I, I'm not going to complain about that because, um, you know, it's not a textbook, so I'm not expecting it to lay flat per se, but that is not so bad. But I don't know. The the bleed through is not, is not great. Uh, there's quite a lot of bleed through. And I've got, I've mentioned on the show before, I'm blessed, and I mean blessed with good vision and sometimes I'm looking at some of these words and I think to myself, that's a little hard to read. These <clears throat> Old Testament books where they're kind of like quotes or songs, it's a little bit better. But when you're looking at that, that's just a little bit hard to decipher. Let's actually go to Ezekiel 48, 27. Okay, so... Uh, Ezekiel 48. 
Ezekiel 48, 27. Well, there's chapter 48, and there is verse 48. So, I mean, you be the judge, but to me, I think that it's no contest. These words, as small as they are, are much more distinct. The cleanness of it is just so much better, just in my opinion, than, say, that. It just looks a little bit muddy. It doesn't look so bad there. Another thing I want to mention, too, is sometimes you'll see that there's simply a lack of notes, and then sometimes you see that the footnotes have uh, taken over the entire thing, right? So um, no notes here, and then all of a sudden I can't, oh, here we go. Sometimes you'll just see five or six, seven, eight, nine lines of notes, and that's not a bad thing per se. That's just a, honestly a personal preference. But, you know, let's see where the divisions go in comparison. Luke twenty two, thirty. 30. All right, Luke twenty two, thirty 30 should be easy enough to find. Luke 22, verse 30. It seems more or less the same in the division. So... Uh, when it comes to stories. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about that, shall we? When it comes to the uh, the title, I felt it was a little deceptive, and maybe that's just me. But when you think Daily Bible, you would think that there would be some sort of a reading plan attached to it, right? Now, if we go to the introduction or the forward, whatever we will uh, we will see that there really isn't any mention of there being some sort of a reading plan. Now, maybe that's just me reading into the title too much. But what Scepter also sells and <clears throat> not necessarily produces, but also sells actually produces, Scepter Publishers, is my very first review ever. So I don't have a problem with the company, Scepter, but I do have a problem with the deceptiveness in this title. Look what we have here. Let's go to the day it is when I'm filming, October 9th, the Feast of John Henry Newman. So we can see here October 9th and April 9th, you get to read that, and then the next day, and the next day, and so on and so forth. That's what I thought would happen with this book. <clears throat> now, it does not say anywhere on the website, nor on the sample pages, that that's what you would be getting. But you would think that if they did it with this, I know this is a reprint, but if they did it with this, they could certainly do it with this. And it doesn't have to be the the daily readings. It could be the same calendar that that is and just adjusted, right? <clears throat> and that's a good example of the bleed through inter interrupting your reading, especially if your eyesight is not as good, right? Um, uh, they could have done it with this. And I, I think that would have forgiven all the problems of this not being a compact Bible, this not having the best uh, bleed through. These titles are a little bit blah. And I will say this is durable. And I will tell you that these maps are excellent. It comes with, my goodness, like, I was going to say 15 maps, but it's 16 maps. <clears throat> and they are great. I don't know other Bibles that have this many maps that aren't specified for maps, but it explained things very well. I always wondered how far away the Last Supper happened from the crucifixion and so on, and I saw that in these maps. Okay, so I don't want to knock the company Scepter. I think that they produce a lot of great stuff. I just don't want to recommend this Bible I recommend the RSVCE, and I recommend 
this Bible for maybe those who want to read it at home or in a Bible study. But to say that this is a Bible that you could take anywhere and everywhere and you can read it, uh, I'm not buying that because, no pun intended, or actually pun intended, <clears throat> because if it were darker lighting, if it were different lighting, especially with this, and if you have poor eyesight, God bless you, but, you know, Isaiah 43 verses 1 through whatever is going to be very hard for you to read, especially in, in a darker lighting, poor eyesight. So I unfortunately cannot recommend this Bible for the things that it's advertised to do as per the website and as per this protective sleeve. And again, this Bible was advertised to me as a travel Bible, and I was not very happy with that. But <clears throat> again, this is the first, there's, there's, this is just the first Bible that there's more bad things to say than there are good things to say, or first book I review in general. Uh, but be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I promise that there are books out there I actually like. I gave you two other examples, and I've done reviews on them, so you can go check those out as well. And I think you can, if my viewers would say, that I'm usually pretty fair. But anyway, thank you very much. God bless, and I'll see you next time.